What's up everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Plastic Minis by Thinkway Toys. Well we have two here, we have Lightning McQueen and Miss Ritter. I got this when I saw Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and she's just from Toys R Us a couple, one or two months ago now. So yeah, let's just get right into this. The first thing I oops, want to show is this card that comes with this. It's a package, we can show this. So on the front here we have the car suit logo. There's some warning choking hazard. And then say it again in French. Series one. I did actually email the company, Thinkway Toys. Mattel made like Mattel makes like the rolling ones, Thinkway Toys makes the plastic ones. They said that they don't have any plans for a series two, so this is the last series. First and last. So if you live anywhere that doesn't sound like the rolling ones from Mattel, you're out of luck. But we have the question mark with these cool little archies, archways. Surprise collectible or collection surprise. Four plus and has a little trademark thing. Can they see? On the back here, series one, collect them all. And it says again in French, the color suit logo again. Here we have Bonnie Swift, Danica Cruz Ramirez, Lightning McQueen, Jackson Storm, Louise Nash, Shannon Spokes, Chick Hicks, Natalie Certain, Smokey. Junior Moon, RV, Miss Fritter, Dr. Damage Mater, Ramon, Sheriff, Sally, Luigi, and Guido. Um, now these aren't numbered, unfortunately, so you have no idea which one you're going to get. Made in China, just some number thing. That doesn't actually mean that that's the number of a mini, because this is the card that came with Miss Fritter. And that's the same number. That also came on my McQueen tag, which I got rid of. Um, Think White Toys has like the postal code, their phone number, website, their logos, and... Yeah, that's pretty much it for the card tag thing. Let's take a look at McQueen here. Oh, wait. I gotta get something. Aha. Okay, I'm good. So, anyways. Obviously, it is the Car Story McQueen paint job with the 95 logo there. Rusties. You can see the lightning bolt. The tires are positioned, so it's like he's turning left. You can see it in the base there. Pretty boring on the base, just says can't I can't really tell what does it say? Disney Pixar Thinkway Toys China. Got the exhaust pipe, the 95 with the flames, rusties, stickers, and same thing there. I'll compare them to the Mattel version in a minute. And then here we have Miss Fritter with her menacing eyes. Got the chain on her on that part right there. Headlights, um, his, her license plates, or the license plates she's collected from, like, her victims are hanging there. Um, obviously she's yellow like a school bus, by the way, I forgot to mention that. Number 58, the wheels here. And, well, I don't understand why this pub cap is, like, bigger than that one. Which is kind of odd, but... And here, she actually has tailpipes that have flames coming out of them. I know the Mattel version doesn't have that, which I'll show in a minute. And, yeah, same thing here. Although this one has, like, her stop sign accessory on it. Doesn't actually come out like the hotel version does. School bus. It's fritter. Yeah, it's, it's fritter time. I can't quite tell what the license plate says there. But yeah, all right. Let me let me just grab my Mattel fritter over here. Oh wait, yeah. Okay, so now I will do comparison. I'll, I'll try and take the camera down for that. Oh, you can kind of see right there. As you can see, completely different scales. The Mattel 155 scale and then whatever scale the Mini is. This one obviously has more detail because it has more stickers. And these don't roll, by the way. The tires don't move. Same like on the back there and the sides. I'll try and fit this for her. Um, the tailpipes actually don't have flames on the this the Mattel version. Which makes the Mini just look so much cooler for me. Yeah, this one's different because it has more license plates and the saw blade actually comes out, which is nice. So, yeah, I will we'll take the camera down for a minute and we'll do kind of like a 360 of them both. So 
that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. I recently posted a review on Jimbo and High Impact. Um, and I'm not entirely sure if this is going to come out before or after the official teaser trailer for my Rookie Days series. You'll see details on that in the trailer. Wow, my camera's really shaky. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.